we are here finally. You've heard Carly and I talk about how this is one of the days we haven't been looking forward to. Of course, we're talking about Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando. I'm joined by Laura, and here's what's ironic. I am reading fairy tales right now to my daughter all of the time. There are some scary fairy tales. You guys are taking the cake. The books I read, Hansel and Gretel aren't doing that. Well, well we've twisted that fairy tale <laughs> world a little bit. Um, our story, welcome to Scary Tales, Deadly Ever After. Our story is the Wicked Witch has put a curse over all fairy tale kingdom. So those that were once good are not bad, and those that were bad are far worse. I'm looking around. I was going to ask for introductions. I don't know if I want introductions or not. Well, to kind of, you know, go off and piggyback on that, those that were good were bad. We have Hansel and Gretel here, which um, the witch has cursed them to now become ferocious cannibals. Um, and the, of course, not so little pigs and our decrepit, disgusting mermaids from the deep of the sea. I'm not liking the one pig that's waving here, right in the center, Laura. That that, that uh, one's especially, especially a little frightening. He, he looks like he really likes you, I'm oh, just saying. I was gonna say, I, again, some of the fairy tales out there are a little creepy, but this definitely takes the cake. And this is only one example of different ways you can get scared or different creatures that you can see here, right? Yeah, we have 10 haunted houses that this year. That's more than we've ever had before. Five of them are original ideas that come from the creative development team here at Universal. And then five, we have five amazing partnerships with Netflix and Stranger Things, with MGM and Poltergeist, with our partners with Halloween 4 and Trick or Treat. We have a mixed bag. There's something for everyone. There's a scare for everyone here at Halloween Horror Nights. You know, Laura, I feel like I spend so much time trying to make everything positive as a parent. I couldn't imagine coming up with ideas such as the ideas that are behind me. Were you always a fan of Halloween? Or talk, take us into your world that you're able to be one of the ones to come up with these crazy ideas like fairy tales gone very bad. Well, specifically, I'm a fan of all kinds of scare tactics, right? I'm not a huge horror movie fan, okay. but I like to know what scares people. And I think I know what scares people because I get scared very easily myself. So I'm kind of a good person to help the team come up with all these twisted ways to scare people. And you know, one of the things too that I know you're very excited about, there's a lot of things that are new. So even if you have been to Halloween Horror Nights before, there's still reason to come back out this year, right? Every year we change it. We want to give our audience something different every year. Five new scare zones, brand new scare zones featuring killer clowns and Chucky and again fitting with the overall horror theme of this year, Vamp 85, which is just, it's fun for me because I'm reliving my youth, but it is <laughs> completely bloody and gory as well. Well again, this is not the kind of fairy tale that I want to be involved in, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, leave this fairy tale to the books. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. As always, more information on our website. And uh, yeah, I'm getting out of here.